Welcome to the Easy Validation online tool video. This online tool is designed to aid clinical laboratories in the verification or validation of a molecular test. Laboratory directors and personnel are able to select applicable standards, guidelines, and enter user-defined acceptance criteria to customize verification and validation protocols for their specific application. We'll go through the first four easy steps to help you start designing a new molecular validation or verification study. First, click on the Start Designing a New Study button. We have four steps. The first is to fill out the lab and assay identification and the initial assay information. Everything is drop down menu driven, so when you click on a field, a menu drops down. Here we'll choose our date. We'll select our laboratory location. In this case, we'll say the United States. We list packaged assays, which are FDA cleared assays. You can choose from this menu to automatically populate some fields, or you could choose to enter the data manually. In this case, we'll enter HIV 2.0, and it automatically populates an assay name, which you could change if you prefer. It's already filled in. It's a verification because this is an FDA-cleared test. It's a quantitative assay. We're testing for HIV. We're testing copies per mil and plasma EDTA is our sample type. Now we'll click on the orange Next button and choose the guidelines to apply. In this case, we'll choose the clear CAP New York State guidelines because we're in the United States. But you could also choose in this case the 3x3 HIV verification. ISO 15189 guideline is also available. Automatically, the Easy Validation tool populates the parameters or studies that need to be tested per the CLEAR CAP New York State guidelines. We will uncheck, in this case, the normal values, since there is no normal value for HIV. We'll click on Next. Now we will choose our system for extraction in this case, it's the Roche AmpliPrep, which has automatically been populated from the first screen. We also indicated whether we want additional run controls. In this case, Roche has three in-kit controls, so we'll uncheck the Acrometrics controls. We know that our study is 1000 mil input volume. We'll click on Next. And now we have an outline of our study. This is the fourth of the four easy steps. It's telling us we need to run 67 total reactions. We'll run repeatability, reproducibility, accuracy, and linearity studies. It's telling us that we need eight of the Acrometrics HIV panels and two boxes of the low control, mid control, and high control. That's the first four easy steps. If you choose, you can save your study by clicking on Save Study. If you would like a Life Technologies representative to get in contact with you, you would click on Request a Quote and then Save a Study.